Maybe we can unlock early, early avionics. But then the AJ-10 has got to be 90,000. Maybe we should get a lesser AJ-10 first. If the Japanese had used a Gina, I would definitely get a Gina instead. <laughs> but, but they did not. That's not a whole lot better than that one, is it? A little bit more burn time. That's not gonna get 3,000 kilometers. Well, it's tough to figure out exactly how to solve this problem. <laughs> but maybe we should have two separate controllers. Well, I guess that's a bit more promising. How much tooling? It's a bit. Let me just have this be the top service module. Is that going to be a lot more? Oh, that, that's even cheaper, isn't it? That made the tooling cost cheaper. This service module stuff is so confusing. Okay, you know what? Let's upgrade the launch complex so it can deal with an 11... Uh, 12, fine. 12 meter rocket. We'll probably have to renovate for the fuel anyway. Let me get the fairings on. I don't know if this can get to 3,000 kilometers. Somehow doubt that, but... I guess this will be the revamp. We still don't have enough to unlock it though. Should I tool all this stuff? That'll be quicker. Maybe I should get early satellites heavy. Instead of because I did early satellites light in the European Space Agency one. Maybe I should do heavy on this one. Uh -oh, we're getting money too slowly. I gotta complete the suborbital research. And we'll take the risk. We'll go for the early early satellites heavy, but we have to go normal speed. We don't have enough of the reputation for or confidence for a fast speed. Okay, that should be enough. Yes, the one part for 70,000. Okay. Is there any sort of engine that seems like it'd be Japanese around here? <laughs> oh, there, there, there it is. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Okay, we're obligated to try to get that somehow. Okay, let's see how close we are to 3,000 kilometer downrange. I think we should license the RZ-20. <laughs> Darn it. Why can't the British give us an RZ-20? That would be nice. Okay, look, we're not going to have control for a few seconds once this releases, but... Okay. Okay, unlocking control. Let's go. Let's make sure to tune these down a bit. Let's just light the AJ-10 right away. We probably need Separatrons, maybe. Ah, I should have known. But, we can save it. This had just slightly too little avionics. Oh well, and the core had too little avionics. We'll have to dump some fuel. 
So this definitely won't work because of the loss of avionics initially. Okay. Let's just see how far we get here. Not far enough. We'll just make our orbital rocket, darn it. It's pretending to be a space plane right there. Well, it survived that. <laughs> Will it survive impact again? Hmm. These things are expensive. We might as well recover it if it can. And we're getting close to 1975, so we really need an orbital rocket. Okay. Back to Space Center. Main thing is unlocking the hugely expensive LE LR-79. Try for early avionics at least. We'll need isogrid structure tanks, that's a cost. 103,000 now. What did we already tool exactly? Ten tons and one point four at start. That doesn't look like it's helping. Well, that's too that's not good enough. Um maybe we need that little SRB stage after all. Unlock cost is still tremendous. Oh there's HP, that doesn't need to be HP. Well, that's better. Let's put the little RCS tanks. I'll still go with HTP for these. Maybe I should just go with helium when it's because it's cheap. I mean, it's free. <laughs> free is cheap. But we don't have enough money. I think we'll do the first thing, which is unlock the isogrid tanks. If I leave this off and instead put a bunch of Vanguard engines on it, this seems like a wonderful idea. Where is that X thing? It almost looks right. That's almost good enough. <laughs> Let's rearrange this. This seems like an N0. But obviously the it's too heavy. And but we have to meet the requirement of the pad. Hmm. It doesn't have any thrust to weight ratio for this. We need more of you. Never wanted more Vanguard engines. <laughs> we got eight of them now. I mean, it's just too expensive otherwise. Okay, a propellant GSE would need to be fixed. Um, what should and shouldn't we not do? The tooling cost says 68,000 there, but I don't see where... Oh, well, maybe the procedural tank isogrid is that one. Well, we'll have to wait. No active projects. This is horrible. Okay, let's upgrade the GSE. It's trying to change... Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, renovate. Maybe I should put an actual payload in. But actually, this is just to toss it to downrange distance, so we'll just leave it be. That's a gridded tank. That's pretty good. Let's tool that tank. Avionics is number two anyway. We'll unlock that and we'll tool this avionics. Okay, well, now we don't have much money. 
So... Okay, well... We should tool something, I suppose. How much to tool all of it? Everything we've got. Fine. Still 5,000 credits. Clearing the mini complex. Sending everybody to this pad. We don't have any applicants, darn it. Oh, here, I should probably build the rocket first. The no rocket. It's gotta take until the end of the year if we don't get some more engineers. Well, let's just fire, uh, not fire, hire the max that we can right now. Fine, everybody. It's a little bit dark around here, but I guess we'll launch. Okay, N0. We're just trying to get to 3,000 kilometers, but if it gets to orbit, that's fine too. We've got eight Vanguard engines at the bottom, though. <laughs> hmm. It's a dark day in rocketry world. Okay, ignition. They've all lit, in theory. I don't know if I should have put fins. RCS could be fine. In this case, maybe it'll be alright. We've got a pretty beefy first stage. It won't be low in the atmosphere or anything. Seems like fins were not necessary. But we're going pretty steep. Then again, steep is probably okay for this one. We lost one engine. Fine now. Oh, the, the, this engine failed. Ah. Uh. Always the core tries to survive. Uh, can we... Let's go Space Center. Well, it was just the upper stage engine that needed to actually light. Yep. Uh, let's just build another one. It's a little bit off from straight up. Anyway. Okay. Ignition. And launch. Okay, separation and ignition. Oh, it ignited this time. No payload. We could make orbit, but we're not supposed to. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna stop it short of orbit no matter what, but we do have the Delta V. We have to watch out for comms. Obviously, we might as well run this for as long as possible so that we get the data units. They come in very slowly. <laughs> so, in fact, figure out how long we can stretch this line. If I leave the engine running, we're gonna make orbit. So, uh, I think I'm gonna cut it right there because we've got three bars now. Oh, maybe that was too soon. Oh no, it was too soon. I underestimated how much we needed. No! We need to toss it up higher. Alas. I was thinking too much of orbit. Well, we can't get the other engine, so I guess another one. This is actually pretty close to the date that they actually launched the first N1. They launched it September 9th, 1975, so we're a little bit late. 
Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. We'll go with one engine out. <laughs> That's fine. Well, past the speed of sound and everything. Okay, separation and ignition. I like how the AJ-10 ignites very quickly. That's nice. Okay, we're losing signal here. Well, we got the 3000. We probably got the 4500 too. And we managed not to bomb anything. That's good too. Alright. Well, we'll see it destroy itself. Complete destruction. Alright, back to Space Center. And we can complete that one. But this requires 50 units of sounding payload. Let's not forget. We don't have enough space in here right now, but hopefully it won't take too much to tool that. Okay, so 4,500 kilometers. We've got the 50 units of sounding payload. I checkmarked that. So, SAS on, throttle up. I can't believe we're using the Vanguard engine like this and eight of them. Ignition, ah, uh, seven is fine. And launch, seven is fine too. Now we got lost performance on another engine. Just thrust, which you have plenty of at the moment. Okay, separation and ignition and fairings. Should we just keep using the Vanguard engine? Ah, <laughs> uh, it works though. That way we don't have to spend an extra hundred thousand. Oh, we're losing comms. Okay, we'll cut it there. How many data units? Still only 2,959, jeez. Oh, was it not enough? Come on. Okay, good. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Space Center. Early rocket development done. Let us focus on getting to orbit. First artificial satellite. 30 kilograms. Well, the whole upper stage will be the satellite, so... That'll be fine. We'll just use this. <laughs> it's, it's cheaper right now. We don't have the money. Okay, so... We will want experiments. We do not want the sounding rocket payload anymore. All right, let's try it. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, ignition. Hey, we got all eight this time. And launch. Should be feisty. This is Vanguard engine abuse right here. Now, will we have enough comms through when the AJ-10 burns out? That I do not know. Well, it lit. Could have done the high atmosphere for some of this still, too. It won't give that much information back. It doesn't have enough electric charge. I should have packed more electric charge. Any orbit will do. Well, we made orbit. Have we agreed? Okay, it's just checking. A whole ton! It wanted 30 kilograms. We over-delivered. Okay, all good. Okay, off, off, off. Oh, I can tell it to go off even though we're not in comms. Got a lot of extra helium. I thought I could deorbit it, but we don't have comms, so... Well, it's just gonna stay up here. 
All right. First bit of space garbage. Back to Space Center. We get the news report. Okay, we got the news report. All right. Yes, our entire stage is Sputnik. All right. So we managed to get our first satellite into orbit. I think I should wrap it up here. Um, we've done some things. Very dubious things. <laughs> We've launched with eight Vanguard engines on the core instead of the LR-79 I was intending on. But eventually we'll get a proper N1-ish rocket in here and then we can proceed. Uh, but for now I'll just wrap it up and say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.